Hey y'all, Peyton here talking through a common scenario that I see a lot of new client accounts get into. And that is, I have my welcome flow built, I have my forms on site, and people seem to be opting in, I'm opting in, and nothing's happening. My welcome flow isn't sending, what's the deal? So I'm gonna run through kind of the top mistakes I see most clients' uh, new accounts make when they are setting up their welcome flow. And this may fix the issue that you may be having, but comment below if you're still seeing some issues. There are a few different scenarios that can come into play and I'm gonna run through the kind of the most common ones that I see. Okay, let's jump into it. So first things first, right? What is the trigger for your welcome flow? So in this example, you know, I we have a few lists and this one in particular is called website pop-up list. So you wanna make sure that wherever you're test opting into, it is connected to this specific list. That's why it's really helpful usually to have a master contact list, um, not creating very specific lists for a pop-up, like in this example, or a specific list for a very specific embed form. Have everything feed into the same list, and then you can segment you know, people out or scenarios out inside your flow filters. So first things first, with the form that you have, is it the same list? Is it sending there? So let's check that out, right? So let's say you're in your integration settings. So this is going to be where if say you're using Shopify's out of the box embed forms, um, you have people who are subscribing via checkout, different scenarios there, but you're going to have a section here where it's asking you when people opt in for marketing communications and they're marked for marketing is true, accepts marketing is true in Shopify, where are they going to be added, right? In your scenario, normally for a new account, it's called newsletter. So just making sure that this is selected for your main core list. And then does that list equal the list for your welcome flow? So is that the same list that you have across the two scenarios? If it is, that then you're good to go. That's exactly what you want. Then you should double check your signup forms. So if you are using a Klaviyo embedded form, if you're using a pop-up, you want to go in and make sure that your form uh, settings are set to the um, form you want. So in this specific example, if I click through to the button, you'll see that it is submitting to a very specific list, a separate list than my integration. So in this scenario, I could be missing out on people entering the welcome flow because I have two different lists going, right? So currently with this pop-up, technically this would work because this is gonna trigger when someone subscribes to the list website pop-up. So my pop-ups should feed everybody into my welcome flow, okay? You following me? Okay, just make sure you're submitting to those specific lists that are triggering your flows, okay? Okay, another scenario though, let's say you have your list. So let's go find our list actually, a website pop-up. For instance, jump into your master list, right? We're gonna check out the settings. So in the settings, at the very bottom, you'll find a section for double opt-in and single opt-in. The issue with double opt-in is that when anyone subscribes to this list, they will get a message that looks a lot like this. Let me just show you. Um, that looks like this, right? Yours will be a little bit different depending on your brand and out of the box, um, it does not look like this. It looks a little bit more kind of like, uh, just doesn't match your branding probably. So they're gonna get this in their email before they're added to your list. And since that's happening, they're then um, kind of held in limbo until they officially double opt in or they hit subscribe on this message that's hitting their inbox. The issue is, is a lot of people don't know to look out for this message. A lot of people don't see it hit their inbox. It usually goes in the promotion tab and it's missed out on. So in your settings, what I recommend is marking your opt-in process for single opt-in. That way all new subscribers flow into the list and then ideally flow right into your welcome flow. You want to make sure though, like right here, regular list cleaning is recommended. So you need to make sure you have a sunset flow in place. You wanna make sure you're segmenting your audiences for your campaigns. You wanna make sure you're cleaning your list basically, because at this point, anyone who kind of tries to opt in will get added to your list and will be emailed. So you're kind of removing this extra step, which means that your list can get colder a bit faster because people aren't showing that extra initiative but overall, the user journey is more seamless. You have people who are subscribing, getting their welcome email, which is really important. Okay, single opt-in, make sure that's checked off. 
One thing to note about that, you do have to change this for every new list you make. So be careful if you've got another list for a different pop-up, if you have a list for something else, single opt-in needs to be selected or else it's sending out that double opt-in message. Okay, another scenario you may be running into is that you're not using a list, right? You're using a segment. So let me just show you what that kind of looks like by creating a test flow. And there are benefits to doing a segment-based welcome flow. And that is if you do have, you know, 80 different lists that technically, well, you wanna keep them separated, you could do a segment and say, everyone who has been created in the last 10 days enter into the segment, which means that they will then trigger into this flow. So let's say we have our test segment here. So one scenario to keep in mind is if you create your segment and then you created this flow, people aren't just going to enter in because they then join this segment because they match the rules, right? Segments work a little bit differently. Like you can't just create it and know that it'll automatically trigger everybody who just populated into a flow, which is a good thing, right? If you have one definition wrong in your segment and like all these people enter into a flow that you have this set as the trigger for on accident, that really sucks. So if you are using a segment, I recommend you have this in place, you have your rules set, everything looks good to go, come over into manage flow and then back populate your flow recipients. So when you do that, you'll have two options here and you're gonna go with um, schedule each step. Well, you could do either one. But scheduling a step relative to the date is probably better because then it's going to match when they actually opted in. Because if you made this segment like two weeks ago and then you press this, then technically they're going to get like a, hey, well, thanks for subscribing. And they technically subscribed like two weeks ago. So a little bit of a weird user experience if you do it that way. Um, so once you do this, people will then fall into where they're supposed to be in the welcome flow. They're probably not going to get that first message, a good majority of them. But moving forward, all new people who meet your segment definition will then enter in. Okay. All right. You also want to make uh, careful and sure that if you're using a test profile, that your test profile isn't already in the segment. So if someone re-opts in, they're not going to re-enter this new segment, right? Technically, they've already met the definition and they still meet the definition that's in your segment. So they won't start this flow all over again just because you re-opt into the footer or a pop-up. So uh, use a new test email if you have to, if you are testing, um, and that test email should enter in. Okay, so those are basically the top fixes that you can implement that will usually get everything repaired so that you can then have your welcome flow working the way you would like to. If you still have issues, Put a description of the issue you're having in the comments below. I'll respond back as soon as I can. And if you're having any other technical issues, put it in the comments below too. I'll make another video maybe addressing some more common technical issues people are having in their Klaviyo account. Happy to make a video on it. All right, but uh, thanks for joining me and I hope this helped a lot. All right, thanks, bye.